Hello everybody. This is April once again. Um, I wanted to comment on Marcus Houston apologizing. I'm sorry. I don't think he should apologize. You know? You know, it was a lot of people, it was quite a few people, you know, telling me in my first uh, video that I made about the whole subject at all that I need to mind my own business and who cares, he can do what he wants. First of all, that was my whole point. Yes, he can say whatever he wants to say. Okay? Um, he's entitled to date whoever he wants to date if he's not doing anything illegal. Okay? But I personally don't think he should apologize for the simple fact that he was just being honest. And... I think that the fact that he got a lot of backlash or whatever, I think that somebody probably told him, uh, you might not want to do that because you basically are addressing the same people who financed your career from day one. Okay? Which is true. That's facts. Because, you know, people even up to I think I think you got served came out in about 2003. And girlfriend might not even been born then, but that's like I said, that's a business. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but in 2003, he had already been an immature. Okay, that was might have been around the time where he had said um, he was they was going to change the uh, the 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 group name to I I'm mature or IMX or whatever. Okay, he already had had a following by 2000, 2000s, 2003, whatever. Okay, and being a hardcore immature fan, me and my sister, man, we was on it. Okay, whatever, whatever Marcus Houston, whatever he had to do with, we were on it. Even if he was just written on somebody's song, if he was in, in somebody's video, whatever it was. And I lied to you not, like, we, I, I lied to you not, man, people used to be jealous. It, we liked them so much that, and I remember and I remember when they uh, we took a school trip to uh, New York this is way back this is I think this is when we got it had came out and I think that and they were supposed to uh, perform at the Apollo Theater the next day you know just seeing a name up there you know it meant so much but i remember the boys in my class at the time they was talking trash or whatever which i like them for this and that whatever you know but I, I i think that i mean i've seen quite a few women who were saying how you know they're not going to support his career anymore and some people's being sarcastic like oh i'm not going to you know I don't want to give him any of my baggage, you know, you know, by watching his movie stuff like that. It was a lot of people saying that, and I understand they for I understand what you're saying, but on on that note, they just being honest too, you know. They just being honest too about supporting you, and I, I mean, it's a lot of colorism, you know, of course within the music industry. Um, I definitely feel like, you know, you know, Romeo doesn't touch on it and whatnot. Um, and you've seen, um, and it's like Chris Brown has his feelings towards, you know, a certain complexion type of women. And, um, you can choose to support him and you can not to, you know? You know, I don't, there There may be a lot of things that, you know, people don't think is right. But like I said, it makes a lot of sense as to why people hire publicists and how, or you have a lot of um, artists who are more concerned with their image and how they look to other people. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you're, if you're somebody that people don't like, it doesn't matter how good your stuff is. It don't matter how how it doesn't matter how beautiful you are. They're not going to support you if they don't like you like as a person. And I feel that way, you know, um I am thinking of this uh the singer right now. This woman is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? And can sing, but her attitude sucks. Male and female, and no people don't like her. You know, I don't like her, you know, 
I ain't gonna say nobody's name because I don't wanna embarrass nobody. I don't wanna put nobody down. But at the end of the day, you know, if people don't like who you are, it's gonna be hard, like, I, I would have to say your career taking off in that way. But see, his career has already taken off, okay? And so has Chris Brown's, okay? But I personally don't think, I'm sorry, I don't think that, I don't think that Marcus Houston should have apologized, you know? It's not like, oh, I feel like this one day and oh, the next day I just totally changed the way I felt. No, I mean, if that's the way you feel about it, that's the way you felt about it, okay? And that's what it is. Now, if people choose not to support you because of your views or the way you think or how you feel about them or even their complexion, that's their choice too. And that's pretty much all I got to say. Bye.